Hello everyone, it's Becca from Becca Books and Bujo, and today I am playing my February deck of TBR game. So before we jump into drawing the cards for the month of February, I wanted to share how I did in the month of January. Uh, we had five cards, um, and the first one was an easy prompt. It was pick any book, um, and so I picked The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. Um, and that one was great. Uh, for the second poll, I had Start a New Series, and that one I chose The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin, which I am 126 pages into right now. It is currently the 28th of the month, um, so I have a few days left to go, and I'm gonna count it as a win because I'm at least 100 pages in, and I think I'll get through most of it by the end of January. So that was my second draw. The third one was a friend pick and I chose The Night Swim by Megan Golden and I did read this, very good. Um, my fourth pull was a Jack, which is book of the month. And so for that one, I picked What's Mine and Yours by Nama Coster. Um, and I did finish this one. Um, and then lastly, I picked one released this year, um, but I, kind of bent the rules a little bit and made it released last year because I didn't have any 2022 books yet. Um, so I read The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood and as I said, I did read this one. So I completed my January deck of TBR, which I'm so excited. Um, so now we'll jump in. I decided I'm not gonna shuffle back in the old cards. Um, and I have them sitting on the shelf back there uh, just because I want to try to get more of the prompts on the board so that I'm not picking all of the ones I've just replaced. But now I'm seeing I did not replace two of the prompts, whoops. Um, so it must've been the four of diamonds. Yeah, so let's replace that one. So I'll replace that one with bought used, which I buy a lot of my books used. And then the last draw was a seven of spades. And so, I'll replace that one with a one word title. So we will go ahead and get started. Oh, and I do wanna replace my bomb book. I like to replace it every month just to spice things up a bit. Um, the only caveat is here in, um, I haven't had time to reprint prompts uh, for my bomb books or any of my prompts um, lately, but if I do pick The Fiery Cross, which is a Diana Gabaldon Outlander series book, um, I'll just, read the next one instead of the fire cross because I read that one last year so let's see what I get oh no okay <laughs> can you see that I got Les Miserables um which yeah I do really want to read it but that's really scary so we will see hopefully I don't get the joker okay I am going to shuffle the cards and we will do five draws as per usual unless I get I think it was a rule of mine unless I get three of the same suit or was it three of the same number I don't know what should my rule be if I get three of the same suit that I have to pull another card or if it's three of the same number should I pull another card comment down below I won't do anything this time because I don't know my own rules but let me know what you think I should do um and we'll see we will decide together as a team. And my baby is sad, so give me one second. All right, so the first draw of February deck of TBR is a jack again, a jack of clubs, um, which is book of the month over here. These prompts do not change. Um, so let's see. Okay, so for my book of the month, I am going to pick my most recent book of the month, which is Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. Um, this one I just hauled in my last book haul. Um, which I'll link above. Um, but this one is a reimagining of an Agatha Christie classic. So it should be suspenseful and I really am liking those right now. It keeps me reading. So that is my first book for February and a Jack. Let's see what my next card is. A queen. Okay. A queen is two prompts in one, so I have to draw two more cards, and as long as they're number cards, I have to do those two prompts together as best I can. We will see what I get. So I've got a seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds. 
a low rating, so that would be a low rating on um, Goodreads. And I'm combining that with a five of clubs, which is, okay, it has the or of in the title. I can probably do that, hold on. I'll be right back and check my Goodreads. Okay, so for this prompt with low rating and the or of, I will be reading The Vacationers by Emma Straub. Um, this one had an average rating of 3.16 on Goodreads um, and it has the word the in the title. Um, I don't know anything about this book. It says, for the posts, a two week trip to the Balearic Island of Mallorca with their extended family and friends is a celebration. Franny and Jim are observing their 35th wedding anniversary and their daughter, Sylvia, has graduated from high school. The Sunlit Island, its mountains and beaches, its tapas and tennis courts also promise an escape from the tensions simmering at home in Manhattan. But all does not go according to plan. Over the course of the vacation, secrets come to light, old and new humiliations are experienced, childhood rivalries resurface, and ancient wounds are exacerbated. We'll try it. We'll see if it's a low rating for me like it was on Goodreads. Okay, third draw is a king. What the? I'm getting all of these. Okay. This one I've never been able to do before. Okay, so let's play your TBR, right? Um, I got this idea from Gavin and how to train your Gavin. So I'll be using this deck of cards um, and I'll set up five cards in a row and then I'll explain it once I get it set up. Uno momento. Okay, so this is how this works. I picked a book that I don't really wanna read and I'm putting it versus a book that I do wanna read, which I don't have a physical copy of that book, but it is The Most Fun We Ever Had by Claire Lombardo. I'm reading that for a book club that I'm in. Um, and so how it works is I flip this first card, which is a nine of spades, and I have to figure out if the next card, or I have to decide if I think the next card is higher or lower. Um, and if I make it all the way by doing that with each um, sequential card, um, and I make it all the way to this side, I get to read the book I want to read. And if I don't make it, I am stuck with the book I don't really wanna read. And now this book, I started back in June when I had my slump and I didn't like reading it back then, but um, <gasps> things change. One second. Yeah, things change and maybe I would like to read it now, so maybe it's not such a bad book, but I'm putting it up against um, one that I really want to read. So let's start. And with this nine, I don't know. I'm gonna say that it's lower. Let's see. A two! Okay, great. Um, oh, and I am gonna use Gavin's rule. I think this is Gavin's rule that an ace is both high and low. So a two is the lowest card I can get. So then, the next card must be higher. A nine again, okay. Nines are hard because they're kind of right in the middle. But I'm going to go with my gut again and say lower. Dang it. I lost, it's a queen. Okay, so the next one would have been a four. Um, so I am reading Maisie Dobbs by Jacqueline Winspear. This is a mystery um, and I've gotten like halfway through it, but we'll see. I am gonna put those cards that I used for Player TBR right back in the deck because might as well use them later. Okay, so we're back with a baby because she's a little grumpy. So I've gotten three pulls done so far. Let's see what the next card is. It's an ace. I'm getting all of the face cards over here. Okay, so ace is draw from my um, TBR jar. I've never done this one either, I don't think. So this is all the books on my physical TBR. And I haven't updated this, so if I draw one that I've already read, I'll take it out. But this could be anything, which makes me a little nervous, but we'll see what I get. On Maggie's watch, which I believe, this is really gonna bug me later, but I actually think I unhauled this when we moved. So I hope I don't still have it. If I do, Whoops, we're, but we're gonna pick another one. Uh, okay, let's see what I get. Before, ever, after. One second, I think that one's on my Kindle. 
Okay, so I will be reading Before Ever After by Samantha Soto. I have no idea what that one is about. Makes me think of some sort of cinderella e retelling, but maybe I'm completely wrong. So that'll be my fourth book from my TBR jar. This is an eventful deck of TBR. Okay, and my last book. Are you kidding me? Another ace. Okay, so one more from my deck of TBR, or I mean my just TBR jar. Let's see, hopefully it's a better one than the first. The Reader. Okay, so this is The Reader by Bernhard Schlink. I don't know anything about this one either, so I'll read the back. Um, it's a novel of emotional awakening, awakening that you'll never forget. When 15-year-old Michael Berg falls ill on his way home from school, he is rescued by Hannah, a woman twice his age. In time, she becomes his lover, enthralling him with her passion, but puzzling him with her odd silences. Then she disappears. Okay, so my last book is The Reader. So let me get all of these. Okay, so for the Jack in the book of the month, I picked Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. Um, for the Queen, which was combined two prompts, um, they were low rating and the or of, I chose The Vacationers by Emma Straub. Um, for the King, which was Play Your TBR Right, I got Maisie Dobbs by Jacqueline Winspear. For the first <laughs> uh, TBR jar, I got Before Ever After by Samantha Soto. And for the second, um, I got The Reader right here by Bernhard Schlink. So let me know if you read any of these and if you think I will like them. And I will let you know how I did on my TBR in the next deck of TBR. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye.